Something we often get asked is, can I plant this seed from five years ago? Or I just found um, a bag of seed or a bucket in my basement that's from a decade ago. Can I plant it and will it still sprout? Or, you know, even can seed go bad? So let's talk about that. When mother nature produces seeds on a wheat plant, on a rye plant, a soybean plant, uh, it fully intends to sprout the next season. That's just the natural order of things. If it doesn't, if it's not properly dried or stored, the germination will rapidly decline. And I think that's what a lot of people mean when they say, will it go bad? A great example of this is in the mid 1800s during the, what is called the mummy mania phase, where amateur archeologists and professionals alike uh, in, you know, raided these tombs, found mummies, and oftentimes there was ancient grain stored with these mummies, and they tested that seed and it sprouted. Um, sometime in 1843, uh, reported by a guy named T.E. Thorpe, they tested some ancient emmer, or also known as faro, and they were astounded at how well it germinated. The reason that it survived that we now know is because of the cold, dark, dry, arid environment. The seeds uh, were in an ideal place to be sort of stuck in suspended animations. It's good to keep in mind that the seed that you get in a paper packet or in uh, a mylar bag or a bucket has been properly dried. And that's the most important thing. If it wasn't, it would decline rapidly over the next eight years to where there would be no germination. But with proper storage and dried seed, you can store it in a basement um, or even in a refrigerated area, and it can last decade after decade. Of course, germination will still decline, but it'll be much slower than before. So let me tell you a little bit about how we store our seeds. You can uh, get your seeds in a package like this or in a mylar resealable bag and those are just fine But for long-term storage, you're gonna want something a little more airtight a, a mylar would work But something like this you'd want to put it in just something a little more sealed. So that's why we have these buckets This is barley seed right here, and it's been uh, sealed uh, very securely in this bucket and it's just a perfect storage vessel. You don't really need anything fancy um, and it should last decades as long as it's stored in a cool, uh, semi-dark, dry place. But if you're reaching into it, but you still want it to last a while, we have the gamma lids, you know, that make it so you can access it. And the seed uh, is very tenacious, especially wheat. I've been shocked numerous times when I find an old bag, try it out, grow some wheatgrass, and it grows great. I hope you have found uh, you know, us talking about the longevity of seed as informative and as interesting as I find it. Uh, I'm always continually amazed by how much of a lifeboat seeds are. Really, they're just magic. Uh, they can survive uh, even when things are less than ideal, but when we provide those ideal uh, conditions, they can go the extra mile for sure. Happy planting. Mm -hmm.